In 1992, Alan Gerbino went to his close friend and proposed an innovative concept to the Vertical Lift and Forward Flight Challenge. This came about after reading a number of stories that proposed efforts to solve the problem. Being a high-time commercial helicopter and a fixed-wing pilot with minor design history and extensive knowledge of helicopter and fixed-wing operations, he decided to try his hand at solving the vertical lift forward flight challenges, using only the common practices employed in aviation to date. No smoke and mirrors, no hypothetical scenarios, and above all, keep it simple and easily serviceable. In time, Allen invented a concept that eliminates 100% of the challenges. Alan then went to Eli J. Alexander, a.k.a. Mr. A, a longtime friend. Skeptical at the initial phone call, Mr. A's skepticism evaporated upon presentation to him at his Alex Air facility. Mr. A demanded that Alan speak to no one until he filled out a stack of patent papers that Mr. A presented to him to protect the concept. The question to Mr. A was, what do you think of the project? His answer was, I'm upset. When asked why he was upset, he said, I had a room full of engineers on this type of project, and we had not thought about this in this manner, and what's more, neither did I. Alan, fully knowing Mr. A's history with his more than 71 years of recognized service to the aviation and aerospace industry, asked if he would do him the honor of being his chief engineer. Mr. A accepted, and at that moment in 1992, Gerbino Flight Systems Incorporated was born, leading to the birth of patent number 7004-427-B2, awarded by the United States Patent Office 28 February 2006, titled Retractable Lifting Blades for Aircraft. Through intensive design development, we have attained a viable system meeting our three primary requirements. First and foremost, that this aircraft be fully controllable through its entire flight envelope. The second, it must be capable of all safe emergency procedures, i.e. dead stick landings, also capable of auto-rotational landings into confined areas. The third was to defeat the so-called MU barrier. The MU being the ratio of forward speed of the aircraft to the tip speed of the rotor. At speeds close to MU1, 0.75, the rotor pitch cannot vary more than one degree without becoming extremely unstable. At ratios of MU1 and higher, the rotor craft goes catastrophic. We have eliminated the MU barrier by removing the rotor system from the airstream, thus allowing our aircraft speeds to be determined only by the parasitic drag of the aircraft structure, not influenced by the MU barrier. Let me introduce you to the Gerbino flight system. With an aircraft that can be configured with 16 seats and two or more litters, we start off light as a helicopter. Lift off for this particular mission, a combat search and rescue mission, we can lift off a hospital ship or a confined area, an airfield not being a requirement. Forward flight is entered into as a helicopter in speeds in excess of the stall speed of the wing. The rotor system is retracted, letting the aircraft enter into a fixed wing configuration. Thus, we are always in control of the aircraft. After our transition to forward flight as a fixed-wing aircraft, with the helicopter part of the aircraft removed from the flight envelope, we continue our flight as a fixed-wing aircraft and are not hampered by the anomalies created by the MU barrier of the helicopter system. We continue our flight to our destination as a fixed-wing aircraft as fast as the parasite drag of the aircraft will allow. Upon reaching our destination, in this case, the site of hurt personnel, we slow to above wing stall speed, deploying the rotor system at the same time, bringing the aircraft to a hover. We can then lower our lifting device, penetrator or litter, and recover our subject. We bring him into the aircraft, go into helicopter forward flight, and again, above wing stall speed, retract our rotor system, removing it from the flight path. We can fly to an offshore hospital ship, an inland airfield with a hospital, or anywhere within a radius of 1,200 miles, and land in whatever configuration required, helicopter or fixed wing, without refueling. This aircraft is equipped with a refueling probe and can be refueled in helicopter or fixed wing mode. With drop tanks, the range is 1,800 miles. Within flight refueling, the aircraft can continue on a 3,600-mile flight. It can land or take off conventionally. It 
It can take off as a helicopter and land conventionally. Or it can take off conventionally and land as a helicopter with any combination required for the mission. This aircraft is also quite capable of defending itself in a hostile environment. With four wingtip mounted stingers, two Hellfire missiles, and a GAU-19 50 caliber in the nose, this small, agile aircraft can hold its own. It has been designed for survivability with its four-engine design. Any one single engine will complete the mission. Two engines drive the rotor system, one will fly the aircraft. Two Williams jets power the aircraft in a fixed wing mode. One engine will complete the mission. Any one engine will complete the mission in its mode. In the unlikely event all four engines should be made inoperative in flight, the aircraft is quite capable of a conventional dead stick landing. Should the blades be in retracted position, the blades can be extended without the need for engine power. Once extended, the aircraft is now capable of a safe landing into a confined area through auto rotation. Should the wings and control surfaces be damaged, the aircraft is capable of completing the mission as a helicopter. In the unlikely event that both wings and control surfaces are damaged and both engines in the helicopter mode are damaged, the aircraft is still capable of continuing flight in an auto gyro mode to a safe landing and even a takeoff if necessary. This craft proves to be the most survivable aircraft in a hostile environment. It can fly on one engine as a helicopter, it can fly on one engine as a fixed wing, and it has the capabilities of performing as an autogyro when all else fails. The goal of this aircraft is to complete the mission and get home safely. In our combat search and rescue mission, we have recovered our personnel, refueled in air, and continued to a safe landing far from any hostile environment. The scenarios presented to this project are without a doubt the most challenging ever presented to an aircraft. It has without fail handled each and every one of them successfully. We at Gerbino Flight Systems have been proud to present our project to you.